You say it already, but self-realization, liberation, and God-realization are not the same. Can you please explain the difference between those three? And what is different between moksha and mukti? <laughs> well, you see, self-realization happens when you're still in the physical body. And you need this physical body to attain self-realization. And self-realization, in the word itself, like I say, self-realize is when the self reveals itself to the conscious, to the, to the, to the mind. And into this action, the mind, the power of the thinking mind is diminished. What awake at that moment is the consciousness. And what comes with the consciousness is wisdom. You have wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge is what you read. Now what you're receiving is knowledge for the mind, to feed the mind. And this knowledge is here. You, know, you will go there, you will listen now, what we are talking, you will think about it, you know, you concentrate on it. You, your mind become very active, you know, in thinking and thinking about this. So this is still in the mind. So the dissolution of the mind awakes the consciousness. So the consciousness gives you wisdom. Through wisdom, the self reveal itself to you. Where you are aware of this blissful state inside of you. You are aware of this God consciousness inside of you. But yet, you become, you become a Jiva Mukti, but yet, you are not liberated. You get liberated once you leave the body. When you leave the physical body, then you are liberated from the cycle of life and birth. Then God-realization is something else. You see, we often portray, when we talk about God-realization, somebody, oh, liberation, People always think that like we merge into Him, just like that, you know, ping. <laughs> and then finish. And then what about this, what you have learned here? <coughs> it's finished, no? Yeah. Nothing stayed. <coughs> but it doesn't happen like this. You know, and not everything dis disappeared or deleted. Earlier I said, you are the manifest, everyone here, or in the world I'm talking about right now, is a manifestation of the invisible and visible God. You know? So you keep certain identity, but you stay. So this certain identity which you stay, which is called the identity of the soul, the soul identity, is not the same identity which you call yourself now. Because when you liberate yourself, another identity is revealed to you, which is part of God, but yet separate. And you approach nearer and nearer to the Divine when we call about God-realization. We come closer and closer to Him, or identification, or deification into Him.
more through His grace. And that is called God realization. The deification of human into the divine. For Mr. Mutful Hannah. And this deification happened only through His grace. This is nothing but you can do. And this you can do it as well, whenever you want. Whenever you are ready, you have learned what you have to learn, you do it. So one was asked, what happened to this identification? The identification stays always there. It's present ever into the divine himself. It's like when we look at the physical body, there's lots of poles, no? But the pole poles are, which is on your body, the million million of uh, cells who run inside your body, that will make you, you. The same thing with the divine. This pole, one pole is completely different from the other pole. Isn't it? Even if with, with our eyes we can see, yes, it's the same. But they are completely different. Same thing in the, in the physical body. Each cell is completely different. Doing each kind of work, no? So into the divine also. The one. God. God realization. One restrains certain identity, but yet emerge inside of him. But through not your will, through his will. <coughs> you have any question? Is it also a, a form of liberation? When you can uh, go out of your body and, and, and come back in, you to leave your body and. Uh, you and mean after you travel? Can... Yes, something like this. Yes. No, it's nothing to do with that. As to travel is something else. Leaving the body at will is just a part of when you advance in your sadhana. You see, or you are, you are self-realized, you have certain um, gift which God revealed itself also, you know. So this is part of that gift. And what is the difference between moksha and mukti? The two, but I just said earlier, self realization and liberation, but trans translated into Sanskrit become moksha and mukti. So, moksha, you can be a jiva mukt, you know, you're still in the body, and mukti, you're liberated from the cycle of birth and death. 